Welcome to Rosemary Radar, where I tell you all the things that you should be looking forward to in the upcoming week. On Tuesday, March 8th, there is an Apple event at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. This one using the tagline Peak Performance, which could mean many things, but probably something powerful, an iMac Pro maybe, the iPhone fucking 1000, a partnership with Blue Chew or Trojan or something. We'll have to wait and see. Also on that day, the Deluxe and NWO for Life editions of WWE 2K22 are being released with three-day early access access. So if you're like me and can't wait an additional 72 hours to drop that people's elbow, then spend that disposable income. It's it's tax season. Fuck it. On Wednesday, March 9th, the Andy Warhol Diaries will hit Netflix. It's a documentary series about the artist, which is executive produced by Ryan Murphy. On Thursday, March 10th, a new comedy series called Bust Down, produced by SNL's Lauren Michaels that stars Jack Knight and Chris Redd will land on Peacock. I believe it's six episodes. And on Friday, March 11th, we're going to get new albums from Brian Adams and Rex Orange County. Also, the standard edition of the previously mentioned WWE 2K22 will be released, and The Adam Project, starring Ryan Reynolds and directed by Sean Levy, will premiere on Netflix. Also on that day, we've got the third in a string of Pixar films that Disney is just deciding to drop on Disney Plus day one for free, which I assume doesn't make the people of Pixar very happy, but it's called Turning Red, and it's about a little girl that turns into a giant red panda when she's excited, which is obviously pretty problematic, and I'm assuming at some point it's going to find a way to make us all cry because that's what Pixar does. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the tears. Follow us. Bye.